नमस्ते गुरुवार के क्लास में आप सबका स्वागत आज हम हिंदी में अक्षर सीखेंगे नहीं शब्द सीखेंगे ठीक है कौन से शब्द कक्षा से संबंधित शब्द द वर्ड्स विच आर रिलेटेड टू क्लासरूम ओके क्लासरूम मीन्स कक्षा लास्ट टाइम आई टॉट यू राइट यस so i had given you about uh, eight words last time okay now i'm going to give you some more words just a little bit that's all okay just maybe about four more words i will give you with that you will have 12 words for you to remember about your classroom there will be more if you want you can correct and keep more words okay but i will just give you few uh first one was vidyalay What is vidyalay? I told you, no. You would have heard of names like Kendriya Vidyalay, Wales Vidya Ashram. Hmm. So what is it? It is a school. Vidyalay is a school, and whatever comes before that is a name. Like Kendriya Vidyalay is the name of that school. Kendriya Vidyalay. So vidyalay means. स्कूल स्कूल दैट चिल्ड्रन गो टू स्कॉल विद्यालय जैसे कि आप कौन से विद्यालय जानते हैं लिटिल मी मॉन्टिसरी ओके दैट इज योर विद्यालय नेक्स्ट वन अध्यापिका अध्यापिका हु इज अध्यापिका यस द लेडी टीचर इज कॉल अध्यापिका द मेल टीचर इज कॉल अध्यापक Notice the sound ध अध्यापक अध्यापिका विद्यालय So it is not the you have to be very careful about how you pronounce it. Only if your pronunciation is correct, then your writing will come. Otherwise, you you will be writing the wrong the sound or the wrong sound letter for it. Okay? For example, I told uh, अध्यापक. Can you see this is अध्यापक? Can you see a uh, Okay. Ah, uh, then can you see the? Can you see the is not cut through? I have told you when you are drawing the sleeping line on top, don't cut through the circle. The, adhya. So that is how. See, it is getting easier for you. Once you learn most of the letters, it might get easier for you to read the words. Okay, just like you are reading English, you'll start reading one new language, Hindi. Adhya pika teacher. Next one, that is your lady teacher. The next one is kalam. Kalam. What is kalam? I use kalam for writing. What is kalam? Pen. Okay, kalam is pen. Next one, kagaz. Kagaz. Kagaz means paper. The loose sheets of paper is called as kagas okay please give me some kagas i want to do drawing mujhe chitra banani hai kagas dijiye okay kagas next one maze maze means table okay a high table or a desk is called as a maze a lower one you call as you know that what is it chauki chauki is a smaller table for you sometimes they use chauki for sitting also but mostly it is a very short desk okay chauki the longer one the taller one is called as a maze even your dining table is a maze okay so you uh, you sit at the dining table means you sit at the maze na ha ah, maze pe baith ke khate hain kursi aur maze pe baith ke khate hain so maze Next one is kursi. Kursi is chair. Okay, kursi. Here we don't uh, use uh, chair. We are using. I am only sitting mats. Is it not? Okay, so it is kursi. Just for you to know. Maybe next school you are going to, there will be a definitely kursi for you. Okay, morning till evening you have to sit in the kursi only. Then and there you will have your maze also. So maze, kursi. Next one, 
श्याम पट श्याम पट मीन्स ब्लैक बोर्ड आई हैव हियर अ व्हाइट बोर्ड दिस इज सो श्याम पट यू कैन नॉट से फॉर व्हाइट बोर्ड श्याम पट इज फॉर ब्लैक बोर्ड there are different colors of a board there is green color board there is red color board there is uh, white board but first thing which came modal modal la vandha the first thing which came was black board because that was easier to make okay so it is called as black board even if you see a slate it is mostly black only later it started coming in new styles like green and white and all those things but slate is always black similarly black board initially was only black in color okay sham pat okay sham is associated with uh dark or the black color even krishna is called as sham because he is dark okay sham pat next one rabad rubber is eraser okay they are just uh, in if you notice next time in hindi some people the letter r they will say as when it particularly when it comes in the end they will prefer to say it as d only so when you say rubber they will say rubbered okay if you say vadodara they will say vadodara baro badoda like that they will say baroda the ending they want to give it like that so uh it is rubbered for you okay in hindi it is rubbered next one is a new one we are going to so these were the things that we learnt last time vidyalay adhyapika kalam kagaz maze kursi shampat and rubbered okay i hope you know at least few of it okay as you learn you will get it when we are we'll start using these words okay as we are writing the next one is about book book is something which you use very use uh, very commonly in the classroom right book so a book you can either call as kitab or you can call it pustak kitab or pustak pustak you would have heard because i would have told you like you know karya uh, pustika abhyas pustika so here pustak okay pustak means book even kitab is called as a book i leave it to you how do you want to call it how do you want to call your book pustak or kitab your choice okay next one next one is ghadi gh se ghadi we had already learnt what is ghadi clock Do you see a clock in the classroom? Yes. It is for us to know the time. Is it not? You want to know when is the time for you to have your snack? 10 15 we go for snack? Yeah, 10 30 or 10 15 15 we start of 10 30 snack we'll start off. Then we'll have to go for lunch at around uh, 12 45. Yes. Then after that you will have to go for playing, right? So we all try to come down at 3 o'clock. Then 3:30, you see that your parents will come. So we have to have an uh, eye on the watch or the clock to see the time going, so that we can move from one activity to another. But you children, you had one ghadi inside you itself. Did you know that? That's very miraculous. Without even looking at the clock, you know that it is time for you for lunch. You knew that it was time for you to get up and go to the room for uh, snack. Is it not? I found it very, very uh, surprising that wherever I worked, I've noticed children had this ghadi inside them, which will tell them go get up. It's time for snack. Get up. It's time for lunch. Get up. It's time to go for uh, to go home. Okay. So ghar se ghadi clock. Next one. Kude dan. Kude dan means dustbin. We often use a dustbin, right? whatever spillage that you have here you will collect it and you go put it if you are cutting papers or you spill some uh, grains here you have to go put it or even after eating your food you clean up with a dust pan and brush and you go put it in the kude dan where do you put it kude dan okay kude dan kachra dalte hai usme kude mein kya dalte hain kachra kude dan hmm 
लास्ट वन इज कलम दान इफ कूड़ेदान में कचरा डालते हैं तो कलम दान में क्या डालते हो कलम ओके कूड़ेदान में कचरा डालते हो यू पुट डस्ट और द वेस्ट इन साइड द कूड़ेदान कलम दान कलम दान में क्या डालते हो कलम योर पेंसिल इवन योर अब कलम दान मीन्स पेंसिल बॉक्स so what all do you put in it you'll put pencils and then you put rubber is it not yes okay and for pencil in hindi it is pencil only okay there is no other word in hindi separately for that pencil so you have your kalam daan like this apart from this you might know a few other words also in hindi you will come across but this is basically that you come around in the classroom Shall we go ahead one more time revise? Yeah. Vidhyalay school. Vidhyalay. Next one. Your teacher adhyapika or adhyapak. Next one. Kalam pen. Kalam Next one, kagaz paper. Kagaz. Next one, maze table. Maze. Next one is kursi chair. Kursi. Good. Next one is blackboard. Shampat. Shyam pat. Next one, rubber. Rubber. Good. Rubber is eraser. Next one is book. For book, I told you you can either say kitab or pustika or pustak. Pustak. Kitab. Pustak, whichever you like. Next one, ghadi, clock, ghadi. Next one, the dustbin, kude daan, kude daan. Kude daan mein kya daalte ho? Kachra, kachra, kude daan. Okay, next one. That is dustbin over. Next is kalam daan. Kalam. See, kalam itself you hear pen. Kalam daan. That is your pencil case or your pencil box. You all have your kalam daan at home? Actually, now by this time I would have asked you all to bring your own kalam daan to get you ready for your uh, school. to make sure how you use your scale how you use your pencil how you use your own eraser all these days you are using schools right if you had been coming yes you would have been using school stationery but from now from this third term i will make sure that you all start your own pencil box and uh, be careful that you carry it home every day check your pencils are always sharpened okay this this is the routine that i follow Uh, for parents also, so that next year when they are moving to the school, they must know how to manage their pencil box. So we give them this instruction to bring two sharpened pencils uh, with eraser and a scale. So uh, from from the term three, we start this exercise where we they have to bring the sharpened pencil, no sharpener, just the sharpened pencil, which means that the previous day night itself they should have arranged their pencil box. and uh, the scale also wherever matching is required we ask them to use a scale and pencil matching a picture to a number or matching a picture to a text we teach them how to uh, do it using a scale so third term onwards or even now you can start using the scale and uh, end of the day they have to make sure when they leaving the school or uh, when they finish their work they make sure that they have their two pencils and their scale and their eraser and their crayon box is back into their bag 
This is to just make sure that they are responsible for their uh, things that they bring along with them. We will start this responsibility much earlier. You can start doing it at home itself. Okay. So that is all the letters for you. The words for, sorry, the words for you from uh, the classroom. Okay. Now we will just revise what we learned uh, on uh, Mangalwar. What is that? Na. Okay. Na ke shab dekhte hain. Chalo. We will start from here. Na. Na. Na se nal. Tap. Nal. Na se namak. Salt. Namak. Na se nak. Nose. Nak. Na se nak. Nak means nail. Na se nav. Boat. Nav. Na se nadi. Nadi. River. Na se neher. Canal. Neher. Neher. Na se nakad. Cash. Nakad. Nakad. Na se nariel. Coconut. Nariel. Nariel. Na se nana or nani. Nana or nani. So you can have your own set of four words for na. It can be nal, namak, nadi, nana, nani. Okay. And there were extra words like nath. What goes on the nose? Nak pe laga rata hai. Wo kya hai? Nath. Nath means nose ring. Okay. And uh, another one word was nar or nari. Nar means man and nari. Okay. So these are the words for na. Kindly practice. I have sent you the flashcards. You can learn just at least four words and uh, keep it uh, written in your book for just like an album you make and keep it so that you can next year when you start learning again you will be able to have very good examples please work on your pronunciation okay very important like when i told you k kh g gh so it's very important you stress wherever it is required then only when you write it will come perfectly okay okay children see you all in another video until then ta-ta